Photo clocks. I bought three ones. They all look crap. One's called a Bullex, so that's the iconic one that I like. This one's by Red Mango. This one's by a company that I think is a caravan park. Right, so, what do they do? They're supposed to display photos on what, uh, what sort of device? Well, it's an SD card. This is the SD card we'll be using. It's a SanDisk 512 megabyte standard SD. Now, these are called photo clocks, so, of course, they are supposed to display photos. First one we'll be starting with is... The classic, the Burlaxa. Welcome, and then... Straight into time, date, all that, no mess about. Then we're going to go on to the red mango. It takes a bit longer, and, you know, okay, picture of a baby. <laughs> right, uh, that's not supposed to happen. And now we're on to the Ravencourt living one. It's not even boot, oh, there we are. Oh, there's another child now. Ravencourt living... It takes a little while to turn on. It's actually just going to keep showing us pictures of babies. So, now we've done this, what's next? Photos. Well, we've got the SD card, as you can see, and this is all for a photo clock. So, I'm going to plug in the SD card into all of them, and so we'll see what they all look like. Three, two, one, go. I had to mess with it. <laughs> so, now we're back on this. This is a Bolexa, and of course it's naturally just displaying the photos, as you would. Because that's what the photo clock does. That one's been doing it for ages, because it's just displaying pictures of flowers. So, now we're going on to this one. So, I put the card in. Now I'm going to quickly test and check on the card. So, hitting the play button, then says, no card, which you can't see. So, I'll actually zoom in. I keep thinking it's touch screen. <laughs> yeah. No card. There is a card in there, and I can show you that. Card. So, it's just not wanting to display photos. So, I guess we're going to have to quickly go off the children photos to exactly view how well this thing is. At, uh, Basically, it's crap. Yeah. Putting it lightly. So now it's going to turn it off to get the card out. And it is rubbish. <laughs> so, what about this one? You might be thinking this one looks an awful lot like that one. I think it is. But this one, as uh, as you saw, well, did you see? It says Raventhought living when his power's on. So we're going to quickly insert the card. There's no card slots. Hold it. I just heard a manky, manky noise coming from the tripod. Um, yeah, there's like, yeah, there's no ports, which basically now means I'm wondering what's under there. So I'm gonna quickly get back to this try, just try setup and try it out. So as you saw over there, there's a little uh, sticker, which is. Here we pulled it off, and it actually just revealed to be the same as the actual Bolexa. So here's the card again, turning it in here, and then turning it off. <laughs> <laughs> this review is rubbish. <laughs> right, we're going to quickly unplug the card because I know generally the Bolex is often are quite good at being having an active card reading and wiping them. Yes. Nothing. Hit the play button. Now it's Friday afternoon. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> it's crap. Terrible. This is actually terrible. Nothing. I don't care it's Friday. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's not even turning off anymore. <laughs> I'm just unplugging <laughs> So this is terrible. But now what we're going to do, because this is a real test you'll want to find out, which one turns on the fastest? So, which which one turns on the fastest? Three. Well, Bolex is on faster. Then it's Red Mango. Then it's that. And to be honest, uh, that's 
Well, that turned on faster than that. Also, can I just say, I pressed that with a five, like a two second de- delay between you pressing that one and that one. So that's really slow. That is really slow. <laughs> that is really slow then. Uh, so Ravencourt Living, if you didn't know, was actually a company that specialises in making educational products <laughs> or products for people with dementia. So, to be honest, I can't really say it's it fault any faults in that category. But I say if you want to listen, yeah. if you want to watch any of your photos, then don't get this. Yeah. Or don't that. get that. Uh, buy the it. buy the cheapest one. The cheapest one is the best. Look, I can literally put the card in. As you see right now, it's still turned on. Put the card in. Card and in. Went. And then three. There we go. The cheapest one is the best. And one. it has the better display. It does actually have a very nice display in comparison. I would say then after that, if you just want a clock, then go for that. If you want to stare at children, <laughs> uh, then go for that one. And by the way, do you want that you can't delete this? So no, you can't. Also, just to let you know, YouTube people, we are we are legally allowed to show those because they are stock f- photos. So, oh my god, it's doing the wee Oh no. Oh no, the stand to go back in. No, no, it's funny. Oh my god, it's boot looping again. Get it off, get it off. They're crap. Don't buy any of them. If you're going to buy any of them, buy this one. Also, be very careful that it's this one. It says digital calendar day clock. Not Don't small, buy this. Not small two-in-one clock. And make sure it doesn't say red mango on it. Because if you do, then just chuck it out your window. Well, probably don't do that, but... I mean, do it. Put, put it in the <laughs> river. Five we care. We don't care. It's not ours. Yeah. Anyway, goodbye. That's been me, Abilene, not talking about the Wii. And Ewan.